Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Precious. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I was able to save $100,000 and higher by the age of 25. And I did this all by working a normal nine to five and doing my side hustle. So on my channel, I love to talk about investing, making money, saving money, and just all things finance. So before getting into the video, I just would like to make a quick disclaimer. I am not making this video to brag or to boost myself up. I'm making this video because I was able to do it so I know you can do it as well. I will be breaking up my speaking points into three different sections because I want to break down how I was able to save over $100,000 by the age of 25. So one of the major ways I was able to save so much money was because I had a side hustle since I can remember. My side hustle was doing hair. I made wigs, I did sewings, I did braids, I did everything hair related. And with this side hustle, I was really able to generate a lot of money. I started doing hair when I was only 10 years old and at 10 years old I was making $20 per head, doing my auntie's friend's hair, doing my auntie's friend's kids' hair. I was doing everybody's hair in the neighborhood and I was making $20 here, $20 there. And that is how I gradually continued to like better my skills. My side hustle is not the only way I was able to save this money. After I was about 22, I graduated college. And when I graduated college, I went off to work for JP Morgan for two years as a financial analyst. And at that job, I was making about 60 to 65K a year. And while working there, I was still able to save at least 20K a year just from my job. And I was also putting towards my 401K. So this 100K that I'm mentioning is not even part of my 401K. So with my 401K, I'm surpassed way over 100K. So while working for JP Morgan, while in college, and while a kid, I always had a side hustle. That is really what got me to where I am today. Guys, I really encourage you to, along with working your regular job, really think about what it is that you're good at and really work towards that thing, make yourself really good at it, and do that service or thing for people so that you can make money on the side because that's the only real way you can save a lot of money because you know working one job is just not going to cut it just doing one thing all the time is not going to cut it like it's going to get your bills paid it's going to get you fed but if you want to make extra money or if you want to live like a better more luxury expensive lifestyle you need to be doing something else on the side like it's really really necessary in order for you to save a lot more money and i don't want to get too far off topic but i just wanted to bring this up like not only is a side hustle really good for like helping you save extra money on the side but a side hustle is also good for if something unforeseen was to happen for instance um i was working at jp morgan for two years as a financial analyst in a development program straight out of college and after my two years unfortunately my company started laying people off i was not laid off but my program ended and because my program ended and they didn't have any spots available because they were getting rid of a lot of the positions I was basically out of a job and for a minute I was a little devastated but I didn't really let it get to me because I had a side hustle that I had been working towards since I was 10 years old and I have gotten so good at it so what I did is I literally gathered myself and I was like I have to make something work and I literally went full-blown in my side hustle so currently I've been doing my side hustle as a full-time job for a little over a year and guys it has been amazing I just hope that this can be encouraging to you guys you can literally turn your side hustle into your main income I'm so happy right now doing my side hustle as my full-time job and I make way more money and I am spending way less time doing it it's honestly the most amazing thing you can do for yourself is to literally find something that you love to do and cap that thing okay guys so the next important trait or characteristic that I embodied in order to help me save a hundred thousand dollars by the age of 25 and honestly guys I was not intentionally trying to save that much money it just kind of happened um, naturally for the most part but after a while when I saw they're like whoa I saved 10,000 and then next thing you know I saved 20,000 next thing you know I saved 30,000 so my goal started becoming oh I want to save 50,000 next thing you know I wanted to save 60,000 next thing you know I'm at 100k I'm like whoa like what the heck and I surpassed 100k so I just want to say that like in the beginning your goal should not 
not honestly be to save, oh, let me save 100K, let me save 10K. Your goal should just be, okay, every month, I wanna try to save $300 extra or just set a certain goal that you wanna save every month. The second way I was able to save a lot of money was cutting down on a lot of things that I did not need to be doing. For instance, going to Starbucks every morning. Another way was not going out to eat all the time. Like, when I was in college and a little bit younger, I never really went out to eat a lot. I mean, now I do because I'm, you know, 25, I'm older, you know, I, you know, I just enjoy going out to eat. Um, but when I was, before I was like, when I was a little bit younger, like between the age of like, I would say 18 to like 24, nah, between the age of 18 to 23, I didn't really go out to eat much at all. Like I would cook, I would eat at home. I may like do like brunch every now and again, but that was literally all the going out to eat that I did. Another thing that I avoided spending money on in order to save was I did not buy designer items. Like I did not buy any Louis Vuitton shoes, any Louis Vuitton purses. I did not buy any designer items whatsoever. Funny thing is I actually shopped at Plato's, Plato's Closet a lot. Like most of my pieces are from Plato's Closet and I shopped on a clearance rack faithfully. Like literally before I would go look at anything else when I walked into a store, I would go straight to the clearance rack to see what they had. Another way I was able to avoid spending so much money was I was able to go to college for free. So I basically worked really hard when I was in high school to get scholarships, grants, and I also had a little bit of assistance here and there from my family friends. And because I was able to get a scholarship, the four years I was in college, I received a refund check, which I used to pay like most of my rent. So I think I only paid maybe like 30% of rent out of pocket when I was in college. And guys, it was amazing because I actually lived alone. I had my own apartment and I was only paying 30% of my apartment rent and bills combined out of the entire year while I was still making a lot of money on the side from my side hustle. So I just want you guys to really think about all these things. If you're young right now and you're looking at colleges, you need to find out how can I save money in college? Cause I'm telling you, student loan is one of the highest ways you cannot save a penny your entire life. So you wanna really try to avoid student loans at all costs. That is gonna help you with your high blood pressure and it's gonna help you save a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Another way I was able to save a lot of money was credit card bills. I was very, very smart and I was very intentional to make sure that I did not get any credit cards until I fully understood what they were about, how they functioned, and things of that nature. I can make a dedicated video for you guys on how to properly use credit cards and how to use credit cards to build your credit up. But I feel like when you're under 25, if you're gonna get a credit card, you need to get a credit card and every time you use it, you need to pay it off. If you do not have money to pay it off, do not put anything on your credit card. Because when you buy things on your credit card and you let the late fee go into effect, you are charged up to 25% or more of interest every single month and that adds up like I know people my age who are in 20k 30k credit card debt like you that is something you do not want for yourself so I highly 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 encourage that you stay away from credit cards at all costs until you know how they work I currently have two credit cards right now I have the Chase Sapphire which is literally my best my favorite credit card ever I pay that credit card off every single month down to the zero and I also have the Chase Freedom that was my very first credit card that I got and I also pay that one off every single month I love them both and I would highly recommend them to anybody who's looking for a credit card but do your research first and I can also make a video on that for you guys and honestly guys when me saying that you should give up on some of the things you spend your money on I'm not necessarily saying that you have to give up every single thing like you don't need to give up your groceries you don't need to give up honestly a lot of things you don't have to give up um, the truth of the matter is you need to really find something on the side to do to make your money and you need to find a way to avoid student loans to avoid rent maybe get a roommate um, maybe if you're in college try to get a grant a scholarship that can pay for your your cost of living and also oh one thing that I forgot is my car note I have never in my life owned a car note because growing up Nigerian we buy everything cash so that was my mentality 
when I came to America, that was my mentality growing up. So, and I think that's the reason why I became so serious with my side hustle was because I always wanted to buy a Toyota Camry when I was younger. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna do so much hair until I save up enough money to pay my Toyota Camry off. And guys, that's exactly what I did. The first 10K I made, I used it and I bought a used Toyota Camry. It was like maybe like four to five years old. And I drove that car for about two years. And then after driving in that car for about two years some girl totaled it and when they totaled it the company wrote me a ten thousand dollar check guys i think i originally paid a little over nine thousand for that car and when she wrecked my car the company paid me ten thousand for it two years later this is the pro of buying your car for cash you can negotiate and get it for cheaper so when that happened they gave me a check and i used that check and i bought another car cash and that's the car that I'm still currently driving I am looking to upgrade my car very soon but for right now it's working and I'm happy with it so the third way I was able to save a lot of money was by learning how to do a lot of things on my own so when I came here from Nigeria I was bullied a lot like about a lot of things so I quickly had to start learning how to do things on my own because my mom wasn't here so I had to learn how to do my own hair I had to learn how to do my own nails I had to learn how to do all of that stuff when I was younger so as I got older I just continued doing it I mean yes now I can afford to go pay to get my own hair done and my own nails done and my lashes and my makeup done but like I've been doing it for so long since I was younger that it's become a part of me and I personally prefer how I do my own hair and my and my own everything so I kind of stuck with it and guys that saved me so much money like I know girls who spend $300 on their lashes every month I know girls who spend $200 on their nails every month I know girls who spend just ridiculous amount of money on just self-care every month and I'm not saying to give up your self-care because you don't have to I love getting a massage I get a massage every single month that's something that I do for myself but I'm saying you don't necessarily need to get your hairs your nails your eyelashes everything done choose a few things that you can do on your own and then you can pay for the other things that you know like I'm not even gonna mess with that and you can get those things done but that was like, I feel like that's definitely one of the biggest way I was able to save money because as a black woman, like, we have to do our hair constantly. We have to do our nails constantly. Like we have to do, I mean, I don't have my nails down right now, but I don't typically do my nails anymore. I actually get press on nails now and I do my toes myself um, because I need my hands to braid and to do the hair and stuff. And I just don't want anything distracting me. So typically when I'm going on a trip or like on the weekend, I'll just slap on some press on nails just to look cute for the weekend. And if you have a hard time deciding on what's important and what's not important, you may need to just create a list and just budget out how much money you want to spend on each thing every month I personally do not budget because guys I do not spend money on unnecessary things I literally only spend money on things that I absolutely want and love and trust me like the older I got the more I spend money freely and also like I feel like I've worked really hard I've saved a lot of money so I deserve to spend money freely but like I said I still do a lot of things for myself I think right now some of the things I still get done is I do laser hair removal which I got the coupon from Groupon and it's amazing um, I shop and I travel that's literally and I go out to eat that's literally the only things that I do anything else you can think of that other girls do like hair nails eyelashes toes I don't do any of that because I just don't see the need to I prefer to spend my money on just massages and traveling and you know shopping because that's just what I personally love to do okay guys so that concludes everything for me but just a quick recap I just want to tell you guys honestly if you can try to eliminate these three things this is gonna be an amazing start to you saving a lot of money in your early 20s if you can try to eliminate house rent get a roommate find somebody to pay your rent like a grant or live with your parents do something if you can that's gonna help you a lot student loans whatever you do if you're already in student loans that's fine next year you need to work and find a way to get scholarships to get grants you need to get something to help you pay for your student loans because guys it's not going to be fun when you have to pay for student loans for literally the rest of your life like I know people who are 30 40 50 and they still are paying student loans I'm telling you right now if you are 
still, you know, in your early 20s, early 30s, and you're in school or whatever, try your best to try to get some help on your student loans, okay? And lastly is payments, credit card payments, car payments. Like, I know people who have credit cards for Victoria's Secret, for Forever 21. For Like, why do you have credit cards for such things? Why? You don't need that. Stop getting a credit card for every little thing. That is how you go into debt. That's the quickest way to go into debt. And that's the quickest way to not be able to ever save a penny. Like, stop it. Just, just get what you need. And whatever you cannot afford, leave it alone. Unless it's do or die. Unless it's something that you absolutely need to survive. You do not need it. Okay? Okay, guys. So, I am done being a mom and yelling at you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's going to be okay. Just do your research. Figure out what it is that you need and what you don't need. And decide for yourself. And you can do it. I promise you, you can. I never thought that I would be able to save 100K, guys. So, I need you guys to subscribe down below. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos like this just to help you guys make money, save money, invest. And just be like financially aware and educated because guys, it's so important. I don't want you guys to wait till you're like in your 30s and 40s and you're like, dang, like I literally have nothing to show for, for my existence. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also follow me on Instagram. Your girl is very active on Instagram and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.